We don't ask cancer patients to line up in public shaming rituals to get their chemotherapy. The disease my son struggled with was addiction. My son struggled for many years with this disease. And as I look back on those times, there were some tough moments and some wonderful times. I remember one time visiting him in a treatment program in Florida, and I got up early. I just wanted to see him sleeping. But when I walked into his room, he surprised me. He was already up, and he said, Dad, I'm getting it. I'm gonna beat this. Well, addiction always doesn't work that way. On October 20th, 2011, I was woken up in the middle of the night by my cell phone ringing. And when I picked it up, I was told that my son Brian had just died. He was 25 years old and he hadn't used a substance in 13 months. And even more tragic, it wasn't just addiction that took my son's life. It was the feeling of shame he had every morning when he opened his eyes. A feeling like an outcast. 20 million Americans around this country suffering with this disease. Last year, our healthcare system prescribed enough opioids for every man, woman, and child in the United States to be fully medicated around the clock for three weeks. Way more than we need, with the most difficult obstacle we must overcome. It's the way we think about addiction, the stigma we attach to it. Stigma extinguishes the very hope and self-respect that someone battling this disease so desperately needs. I get called from families telling me about a son or daughter who's struggling with addiction to opioids, and the advice I give is always the same. The most important thing you can do, tell them that you love them. Tell them that you are proud of them for the daily fight they have with a difficult disease, and you are there to support them every step along the way. Almost 200,000 people have now joined our cause. We've passed laws in more than a dozen states that are already saving thousands of lives. We've worked with the federal government to ensure that doctors have guidelines for safer prescribing. We've gone toe to toe fighting so hard around this country to ensure those who have this disease have health insurance to pay for treatment, same way it would be covered for other diseases. We've brought together 16 insurance companies who together have adopted a national standard of care, and this year we're working to get this implemented across the country. We have an outdated treatment system that's based on old beliefs and not using the research that currently exists. So for their sake, and for the sake of all those out there struggling with this difficult disease and their families, we must drag addiction out of the shadows and into our hearts. I cannot imagine a more perfect expression of humanity.